morning super cool party people. My voice is all squeaky because I just woke up. I am so tired. I think I slept for like five hours. Maybe a little bit more. And now I have to get up. Well, I am up because <laughs> I have to go to work. I'm so far excited about it. Can you tell? Um, this, I feel like it's definitely going to be a nap time later. Yes, I do have a sock hanging there. It's weird. Um, but <laughs> I'm awake. It's before seven. And my eyes are so red. But, um, yeah, just want to start the vlog and talk about how excited I am to be up at this present moment. Also, look at that special hair. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is four. And I just got home, and my phone is down. Will you focus? No. Try again. Whatever, it's down to 7%. Because I'm an idiot, and I thought I packed my external battery charger. But I did not, so I almost didn't make it home with music, and I would have been sad. But also, part of the reason I almost didn't make it home with music is because the bus system sucks here. Um, they changed it at the end of August to make it better and more routes. And they also, someone was telling me the other day, oh, it's working better now, because like everybody complained about it. it's now mid-October. And someone was like, oh yeah, it's working better now. And they have like the signs on the post so you can see when the bus comes. I'm like, that's great. I can see when it's supposed to come, because it doesn't come. So, <sighs> it took me... I got off at 2.30, I should have been able to catch a bus at about 2.50, I didn't get on a bus till 3.22. He was so happy. Um, but I am home now, I just adulted and I brought in some firewood for the fireplace because it's getting cold out, there's like a storm warning for the island, it's mostly the western side for rain and the northern side for wind so I don't know if we count as north enough but anyway I'm happy to be home it's supposed to pour rain tomorrow Ugh, and I have to work and I'm really sad because I was supposed to pick something up today but because of the storm yesterday it wasn't able to get to the store today but this was oh my goodness so I called and I was like because they, they said they were going to call me today between 12 and 1 or email me and tell me that my thing was able to be picked up. So it was 2.30 and they hadn't called, so I called. And she called me back. She's like, oh, sorry, because of the storm, the plane wasn't able to fly, so we weren't able to get it. So I was like, okay, like that's fine. I totally understand. She's like, yeah, but it'll definitely be here tomorrow. Um, they've promised me that. I was like, sweet. And so I, you know, waiting for the bus. Again, the bus decided to check my email and... 20 minutes after I called, I had an email saying it was ready to pick up. So, yeah. Bah. But whatever. I'll pick it up tomorrow. It'll add excitement to tomorrow for me. Um, because I have to work again tomorrow. But yeah, so, I'm gonna, like, I'm in my work attire, so I'm gonna pajama up here, I think, or sweatpants up. And try to be a productive individual. I feel so, like round today. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wearing my stitch onesie. It makes me very happy. Um, so I just walked to the mailbox, not in my stitch onesie, but um, I have two packages, which is super exciting. So I have a foot cardigan package, um, which is actually stuff I ordered because it was on sale. They have like location socks based on cities. And then <laughs> I got my Ipsy bag. I feel like I can't hear right now because these are over my ears. But I'm going to unbox these now. I'm so weird. I'm aware. I'm aware I'm weird. I'm going to go with 
the foot cardigan one first because I know exactly what's in it. Asterix because I ordered it. But asterix, I only remember one pair of socks that I got. Wait, two, three? I don't remember. But they're about cities. I didn't, disclosure, I didn't get the Vancouver ones despite living in Vancouver because they were kind of ugly. I didn't like the green they were. So I just got other socks. I'm gonna just let that fall off there because, oh, why? You know, no, hood up is a better situation right now. It's probably gonna fall down. Oh my goodness. No, hair, sorry. I know. Cool. I should probably just edit this out. There. The problem is, is like the arms and legs are a little small in this. <laughs> but whatever. So, soft party. Oh my goodness. Hey look, we got another pair of those free socks that the quality sucked on. So look, I have another pair of these hotels.com socks, which I, I mean, I kind of liked, except the quality sucks. But I can throw out the one that has a hole in it and then I'll have three socks. And then so when one of these gets a hole in it, it'll work out because then I'll have a pair, right? That's how it works. <laughs> Um, and along with it comes how to share that hotels.com thing so you can win things. There's my invoice. What's this? Packing slip. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? I don't understand why there's two packing slips. This is important, guys. I promise. Okay, so. Let's see. The first pair that I got, they're called Mytropolis socks. Um, but they are London, so they're this really kind of vibrant purpley color. But they have, it's right on the front, so it's a little bit awkward. They have the guards on them. So, yeah, I thought they were super adorable. And they say London across the top here. And one day I would like to go to London. So, why not? <laughs> this one, I believe, is San Francisco. I'm doing great with bags today. Uh, are you San Francisco? Yes, you are. And they're orange, like the Golden Gate Bridge. And they have the bridge at the top here. And then a trolley. These are so hard to see. But there we go. See? <laughs> I really like how orange they are. I just really like the quality of these socks, so I've been looking at the location ones for a while, thinking maybe I'll get them, and then they went on sale, so I got six pairs. What's wrong with me, right? <laughs> Next, I really like the color and design on these ones. They're New Orleans, and they're purple, like a really nice purple, and then they've got like musicians playing down at the bottom, and I think this is like the architecture, the balconies and stuff. And again, they say New Orleans across the top. Oh, my legs are falling asleep because I'm sitting in a stupid way. And then next is Roma. Um, interesting fact that I discovered recently is the fourth and fifth floor of the Colosseum are now restored and open to tourists. So if you're going to Rome anytime soon, that's a new thing. But these are like a nice mustard I was gonna say mustard pink. Mustard yellow. Do I? I question my brain level. There's a little girl on a Vespa and then the Colosseum up there. I really liked these ones. I thought they were super cool. Now let's see. My legs are killing me. You know what? Give me a minute. I'm going to readjust. If I do this, oh my goodness, I'm gonna drop things and I do that. And I sit down here. Oh, this is so much better. And then I'll just adjust. Except because the legs and the arms are a little tight now. I'm like stretching. Now the next two pairs of socks are cities that I've actually been to. So they're like mementos from my time there. The first one is New York, New York. 
Um, so it just kind of looks like it's got the uh, subway grid pattern on it. Um, I actually went to New York in 2010? 2000, 2011, I think, to see the American Idiot musical on Broadway. And I got to meet Billy Joe Armstrong, uh, the lead singer of Green Day, which was pretty awesome. Um, and maybe one day I'll do a story time about my experience there. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I was like, I've been to New York. I should get New York socks. Although I was like, I've lived in Vancouver for nine years. These socks are ugly. <laughs> so next is the other place that I have also been out of the socks that I have. Oh, these ones are differently packaged. And it is... Dun, 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 Seattle. So that's the Space Needle. Is it called the Space Needle? I think it's called the Space Needle. Um, fun fact, when I went there, we tried to go on the Space Needle, but like the lineup was so long, so we just didn't even bother. But and it's got mountains on the back. So those are all the socks that I got. Why did I get so many socks? It was really weird. But it happened. It's a thing. And now onto the Ipsy bag. This is probably the heaviest Ipsy bag I've gotten, I've received thus far, which is exciting. I did watch somebody's unboxing yesterday, oops, um, so I know what the bag looks like, and I know some things that I may get, but maybe not, who knows. Um, so the first thing is Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Agey, Agey, Anti-Agey aging finishing powder so that's what it looks like right there um it's supposed to make you look airbrushed let's give it i realized because i'm not a beauty guru you're supposed to do things like swatch when you get makeup products so let's let's swatch i'm so confused this is really hard for me to open oh my god oh, i thought that i dropped it out but it was just this little sponge that comes with it and then See, this is why I don't do it. It's way too hard. All right. I like how that feels. It's translucent. You can't see anything. This is why I'm not a beauty vlogger. But it feels nice. So, I mean, there's that. And, like, the packaging is, like, super robust. Like, that is in there. So, it's got that going for it. I haven't got the bag out. That was outside of the bag. So, this is what this month's Ipsy bag looks like, which I knew. Um, it's, like, a red, lacy kind of it's like oh it's kind of like leathery but it's not oh but it's got a bat on it look at that that's really cool very on theme for the Halloween month all right so this is very similar to the bag that I saw the other person gets 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 <laughs> In my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. That's really funny. Oh, okay, well, I read what it said. Um, I kind of like that. I might put it up on my wall with all my quotes. So, first thing I am pulling out is a charcoal-infused nail polish by Nail Medic. That's what it, the packaging looks like. Really lighting. Wait, go play me like that. Oh my god, I hate Come closer to me. Will that work? I think it's just my lighting so bad in my room that it's having troubles. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't even. That's what the box looks like. It's those blurry colors. And then it is a... It's color lava, which I knew was like a purpley color from uh, the other video that I watched. So, I wonder... It's supposed to protect against toxins and pollutants and restore healthy, beautiful nails. And my nails are so janky right now that um, maybe I should look into that. The next is, ooh, a thing that the lid almost, okay, it's fine, it's capped, but like the lid was very loose. It is a Neo & Co treatment oil to bring dull, dry hair back to life, which is a nice thing that my tips can use a bit because I do dye my hair, but that's what it looks like right there. Come on, I know you want to focus. You can do it. Oh my god. 
This is like the worst. There. Whoa. It's very simple packaging. I need to fix my lighting. That's what the issue is. Maybe if I turn on, you know, where'd my phone go? This worked for me yesterday. It's very, I'm very good at vlogging today. Do, do, do. Let's see if that helps. There we go. See, it's kind of spooky lighting, but it works. <sighs> Next we have, looks like a blush. It's in this packaging. I'm having issues getting it out. It is Essence Satin Touch Blush, which Essence is like the Shoppers Drug Mart brand. So there that is. Yeah, lighting for the win. Um, I kind of like it because it's like patterned. Uh, if you can see that. See, it's got like ridges and stuff. And we will give it, give it a swatch. Um, so there it is there. Um, it feels really nice. Um, and I like it because it's not overly pink. It's kind of a less pink pink. It's a coral. There we go. Less pink pink for you. And this is the last one which I saw in the other Ipsy bag, but is MDM Flow Lip Gloss. Here it is. There we go. Look at that. And it is in the color. Excuse me. Retro. And we will swatch you know. We'll swatch it and we'll put it on our lips. Ooh. It's so pretty. So that's it right there. I seem to recall the girl that I watched her unboxing. Um, she said that it dries really not. This is gonna go terribly. <laughs> I kind of like that. I'm not like a huge lip gloss person but I kind of like that color mm, goes good with my green hair but yeah that is my unboxing done with my <laughs> pretend lighting I mean it's real lighting it's just interesting lighting that is very bright but I like it um and yeah I now have this gigantic mess over here but that's fine. Um, I am going to clean that up. You know, I think I need to, which is, this is not helping things, <laughs> but I think I need to, when I have stuff to unbox, start to do them in other, in, op in opposite videos, in different videos, in videos that are not my daily vlogs, because this is like 14 minutes right now, and it just like extends my vlog for so long. <sighs> but whatever, well. I'll figure it out at some point, I'm sure. I'm really, I'm really digging this lip gloss. But yeah, so, gonna go now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. So I'm trying to get some work done, but somebody just dropped off a pico. And he's just cuddling. He is just so cute. I am so distracted now. I am just not gonna get work done. Look at him. He's got a fluff stuck on his ear. <coughs> He's so chill. Oh my god, I love this hedgehog so much. But I am trying to get stuff done. I'm trying to get my planning done for my week of videos, but I mean... Oh no! Pykel! Pykel! This is getting dicey. I need to put the camera down.
Look at him, he's so comfy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so I've handed off the hedgehog in part because I want to get work done and also because, do you see this? Do you see this? Because I'm allergic to him, but he's so cute and he's so squishy and he's so, oh, I just love that little guy so much. And I could have sat here and cuddled him for like the rest of the night, but I want to try to finish getting my videos prepped so I can start filming them on Mondays off this week, which are, Thursday, Friday, I think. So yeah, because I gotta start uploading Wednesday. <gasps> ah! But yeah, I want to try to get a head start because I've never done like pre-prepared videos before. So I'm going to sit down and buckle down and at least get, if I get three planned, then I should be in good shape. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to end the vlog exactly as I start it, sitting here exhausted, <laughs> but it's just on the other side now. Um, I've been sitting here for over two hours <laughs> planning out my videos because I want to start filming them on Thursday, which is not tomorrow, but the next day. <laughs> I'm speaking slow because my brain is not doing the thing <laughs> um but I did manage to get three videos planned out tonight which means I have four videos planned fully what the heck are my other topics um wait wait what okay there we go four five four six and seven so I have one two three and five planned out um, but one of them is, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, is, um, talking about fan fictions, <laughs> because, right, and so I'm going to read parts of my past fan fiction in it, because I thought that would be a good idea, and, um, just to be like, this was the beginning of the fan fiction, and how terrible it was, and this is near the end, and it's a lot better. <laughs> But I was looking at the beginning of it, I was like, this is really bad, I don't want to read this, I don't want to put this back on the internet, because it was on the internet once before. Um, but then I was like, yeah, just do it, just do it. <laughs> so I have my excerpts for those. Um, I've written the one about all my tips, but if anybody has any like t t questions <laughs> or things they want me to address specifically, there is still time. Um, so feel free to pop them in the comment below. In the comment below? In the comment section. I think it worked. I think you knew what I meant. I am just my brain. Like, I can barely keep my eyes open. I was just sitting out in the living room talking with my brother and sister-in-law, and I'm like, wait, no, no, I'm like, keep them open, but I just want to sleep right now. And I was like, you guys need to stop talking so I can talk, so I can find out who I'm going to get your ride with tomorrow morning so I can go to sleep now. Except I can't go to sleep now because I need to edit this, but that's fine. I am so tired. I feel like I've not been this tired in a very long time. So one more day at work. I'm totally going to nap tomorrow afternoon. I might not actually, but I'm going to aim to nap. So I think it's just a short day though, and I get to pick up that really exciting thing that I wanted to pick up today, but I'll get it tomorrow. And I'm gonna stop rambling, because if I know this vlog's already gonna be pretty long, I think, because I unboxed things, and also because I am exhausted. So if you enjoyed what you saw today, I do post daily vlogs, so feel free to subscribe so you'll see those. And if you liked it, there's that thumbs up button, which all the cool kids are doing. Like pressing it. <laughs> so tired. And I will see you again tomorrow.